Hello, bonjour and welcome back to my channel where I'm going to show you a new painting process. So here I'm starting quite a medium sized painting, starting with cool colours, warm colours, a little bit of writing, all great ways to attack that blank canvas. I really like to work in layers, building up lots and lots of layers on my canvas and for this painting I had some inspiration from a small study that I did that I actually filmed, you can see in another video, I think it was called Rainbow After the Storm. In fact I've done quite a few mountain paintings now, I'm building up quite a series. Um, so here you can see I am starting now to get kind of this fun childish imagery of mountains into the painting. And oh, one of my favourite things to do, some ink drippies from the top of the page. I really love doing that. And you'll see later on in the, towards the end of the painting, I do some, some more of that. I do love my mixed media and I like to, in between painting, come in with some pastels, pencils, all sorts of different drawing materials and some collage as well. Later on, you see some collage coming into this painting all these different forms of media different types different ways of getting marks onto the canvas is a great way especially if you're feeling stuck which i was later on and collage really helped me out and there you can see i really went wild with the the blue paint and getting those um, mountain shapes in there even if they're not kind of realistic mountain shapes they're just kind of arches and triangular points, just impressions of mountains. One of them turning into this uh, kind of rainbow form, rainbow mountain, maybe I'll call this painting rainbow mountain, <laughs> not sure. I do love using these woodies, a really thick chunky pencil that you can use on all sorts of surfaces, which is great for a mixed media painting. Here's one of the source photographs that I was referring to in getting my greens there, the different greens under the rainbow. And what I love about the mountains, we spend quite a bit of time there because we're not that far away from the Pyrenees Mountains. But I guess because I'm English, the climate reminds me of back home, I still call it back home, and it's cooler the temperature in the summer here in the south of France, it can get really quite hot, so an escape to the mountains or to the UK is really appreciated and really welcome in those hot periods. So I love this, I love this changeable weather, the differences in temperature, the, you can get a storm in the middle of hot summer. I love that. I love the skies. You get these colours, the sunsets, the rainbows, the clouds. All this I'm trying to create. And yes, a lot of it is in my head and a lot of the time I work from intuition and I am working with the marks that I put on the canvas and reacting to that and playing around, experimenting and mixed media is fantastic for experimenting. All these different materials you can use, just play around and if you don't like it, it doesn't matter, you can paint over it. It's a fun way to experiment, a bit of trial and error, and play around. A few people have said to me, a few comments have um, been that they'd love to know what's going through my mind when I'm painting, but what can I say? I'm an artist. I love colour. I love experimenting. Sometimes things work out. Sometimes things don't work out. Um, but it's just a trial and error process. You can get a successful painting. Um, you can make 10 paintings before you get one that's really good. 
in this painting is not in one session at all you can see probably I've changed my clothes at different days different weeks even I take quite a while to work back and forth because I work on several paintings at a time as well so I'm back and forth on paintings and here ah, I'm starting with a little bit of collage I think I'd filmed the video on how to start a, an abstract painting using collage and that got, really got me back into using collage again and I mean you can use collage at any stage of a painting it is a great way to start but in the middle I was feeling really stuck with this painting at this point so I grabbed some I think it was tissue papers and just started sticking them on here and there seeing how I responded to them for the next step and just enjoy myself. I'm kind of sticking on the paper and scratching off again. I'm using my nails, which is not a great idea. Artists have never got lovely nails. And so using the brush as well. And I think I use a tool at some point, kind of a palette knife to get some, there's the end of the paintbrush. So basically I'm sticking papers on and I'm tearing them off again. And then I'll probably go over them with some sort of drawing materials or paints. I really do like tissue papers because they're quite transparent and you see the colours underneath and I think there I even had some pastel on the on top of the paint and that kind of smudged into the tissue paper and you got this really nice yellowy orangey colour and there I decided I really didn't like that top right hand corner in the end so I added some lovely turquoise blue and some collage I believe yeah, there's some pink paper added and one of my fave things some more drippies and like I do with the collage papers and the paints and every other medium in a minute you'll see me rubbing some of those drips away you can decide where you want your drips and where you don't want the drips so it's all up to you and if you're an artist wanting to try out some mixed media then give it a go have some fun here is the finished painting. I need to think of a name. If you've got any ideas, then pop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in another video very soon. Bye for now. Au revoir.